Now back to the emergency doctors. Joe was uh, out with Dr. Louisa Chan at the scene of a terrible road accident where a family's car had swerved off the road and into a tree. So uh, where are we at with this so far, Joe? Well, Louisa's uh, at the scene. She's assessed all the patients and she's particularly worried about the two young girls. They've got very sort of tender abdomens and she's afraid that that's abdominal guarding, that that is the body protecting some serious internal injury. So it's really important they get to hospital as soon as possible. OK, let's take a look at how things turned out. The two sisters are being examined in separate cubicles. Doctors will be using ultrasound to see if they have any internal injuries. Can we have the lights down a bit, please? So John's just asked for the lights to be turned off. He's going to be looking at the, the black and white screen over there on that machine. What we're looking for is fluid in the abdomen. So if you've ruptured your spleen and you're bleeding from that, if you have perforated your bowel and there's bowel contents in there, then that will show upon the scan. There's a hive of activity around both sisters because doctors want quickly to rule out any bleeding which could cause the two girls' conditions to deteriorate. So John's got a really good view of what we call Morrison's pouch, so that's the space between the kidney and the liver. And if there's any fluid in your, any blood in your abdomen, that's the most likely place it's going to collect. So his spleen looks intact. So John's just looked on the other side, so he's been looking um, at the spleen, and there's no fluid around there, so that's good news as well. Is that when you start to feel better now? Because that was your I'm, worry, I'm wasn't it? Yes, I'm feeling a little bit better. This is one of my surgical colleagues, so he's going to have a... Um, a feel of the tummy as well. I suspect that Lenore will need to be admitted tonight. So as well as the younger daughter in the far bay, the elder daughter's just here, and I think she's just having an ultrasound now as well. Is that right, Louisa? Yeah, right. Down go the lights. Steve, the surgeon, has just come across and said to you, Louisa, he's quite happy with the younger daughter. He is. Um, so her observations have normalised. There's still a possibility that there could be an injury in there, but he's happy for now. With Manu, the younger sister, cleared of injury, the doctors now need to study the scans and x-rays of her older sister. OK, it looks like the x-rays have just come through, so we'll take a look. All looks pretty good. Mm. So chest and pelvis are fine. Excellent. So we'll take her around for an L spine view. Fantastic. And um, as long as she remains stable, maybe ship her up to the ward and think about a CT later on. Mm. More good news? More good news. So the final tests have been done. Yeah. What's the outcome for the two young ladies in so there? So they've been very, very lucky. Just cuts, bruises, shaken up. Uh, the younger daughter is going to be admitted to the paediatric ward overnight right. for observation, just to make sure. But, uh, yeah, very, very lucky. Very, very lucky is what they're saying there. How extraordinary to be out, though, on an incident like that with somebody as professional as Dr Chan. Yeah, I have so much respect for these guys. Don't forget, these are emergency doctors who normally work in hospitals, and then they give up their spare time, they wake up at whatever time at night and go and attend these incidents. But when you go there with them, the professionalism is, is unbelievable. You know, there's helicopters landing, traffic everywhere, broken glass, and they can see the wood for the trees. They can quickly assess and carry out the right treatment. It's funny, isn't it? So it's a system that's used abroad, not so much used in this country, and uh, presumably it's a matter of whether you're lucky whether one of these happens to be near you when you actually have a serious accident. Absolutely. I mean, there is a, one of these basic doctors on the London Air Ambulance, but outside that, it's just who's off, off duty and when and where they happen to be. So there's no automatic response at the moment. They are a charity. Lovely. Thank you very much, Joe. We'll have more from Joe, obviously, as the series goes on with all the emergency services.